if you've been looking for a cheap and easy way to melt some scrap metal, I think I've got the answer. Have a look at what I've come up with this time. I'm using a regular 44 gallon in the real money, 205 litre to other people, uh, metal drum that I've used for a few other things now. It's starting to look a bit worn and getting lots of different holes, but it's still holding up. And I've got the big burner there tilted on its side. As you can see, I've curved the oil line round a bit. I'm a little bit concerned about the heat that this thing is going to radiate out, uh, but we'll see how we go. I've not tried this burner on its side before in a horizontal position but I know the uh, principle behind it is just retained heat and swirling the fire front around so I don't think that it will um, be any problem to operate in that way. You can see here I've just used a piece of four inch pipe to allow the burner to blow the heat into the drum because I couldn't actually get it close enough to go in directly. Doesn't really matter if I was going to do this as a little bit more permanent setup, I'd uh, make it work without that. But for demonstration purposes, that's all it's there for. And there's a view of how the oil line goes into the air inlet for the burner and it's simply blown in. People are asking me about nozzles or jets or things on that. There is none. It's simply a gra gravity feed and the air from the blower just pushes the oil into the burner. It's as simple as that. Hopefully in the shadow there you can see the air conditioning compressor. I'll give it a go at melting that. With the size and capacity of this burner I really don't think it's going to be any trouble. And I've got a few other bits and pieces I can chuck in there if it all goes well. Uh, underneath the uh, edge of the drum I've got uh, a vessel just to capture the aluminium if it runs out. I haven't actually checked whether it's going to run forward or back at this stage. I don't really care either way as all good uh, it's just to show the principle of separating out the uh, the aluminium from the rest of the metal at this stage okay so I've got this thing uh, actually running pretty low it's uh, only running a fraction of the air and not much more oil but as you can see she's really kicking out the heat and that poor old compressor is not standing up to it too well at all already I've got a pile of molten aluminium about to run out the bottom that's taken uh, under two minutes to get to that As you might have already seen, I love the bit where I go from idle to full tilt on these things, so let's give it a go. Now there's some decent heat for you. Okay, well that looks like that's working pretty nicely. I've got an aluminium manifold here off a of Subaru. I'd guess it weighs about three kilos or six pounds. So I'm gonna throw that in and see how it goes with that.
down a bit because having it at full air, it was starting to spray out molten aluminium clean out of the thing. So we'll have to slow it down a bit just for that reason. like it's demolished more than half of that already and most of it's not even in the flame front you can see that it's just dropping down there and still melting I think the whole lot's going to be gone pretty quick I'll keep this in live time for you to see Got aluminium running out of there quite well now. Right down into Granny's old chamber pot. left now just the end couple of runners and there it goes that's demolished as well doesn't look like anything's going to be too much for this baby She's pretty much all over. Not a bad effort, I reckon. And there you can see the liquid aluminium I've got. Having done tests on that before, that's about four litres in that chamber pot there. Sorry, that'd be about two being half full, so not too bad. I don't know what aluminium weighs per litre, but I guess that that's at least a good four to six pounds right there. Plus, there's still some that hasn't dropped out of the uh, furnace because I haven't really got it at that much of an angle. This is from the other side, and you can see that four inch thick wall pipe is well and truly glowing red, even though I've just got the thing on idle. It does pulse a little bit because I haven't got a very high fuel level, and I've probably taken maybe two litres of oil to melt that aluminium. Even though this isn't insulated, it's extremely effective. The next thing I'll be trying with this is to do uh, melting a full engine. I I don't think it's really going to take a lot of effort to do that either. As I thought, my big burner in the horizontal position is quite happy. Uh, I started it off with a bit of rags and sticks in it for a preheat and gave it the air and it just fired right up. Not a problem at all. The thing with this is it's probably got more hot surface area to work on in the horizontal position than in the vertical. So it doesn't mind running that way and will probably do so as long as you wanted. 
just for the sake of it, I'll go for a throttle up on this again and just show you what sort of heat you can get out of it. Runs nice and stable at a nice high output so the air can blow the fuel straight in. Okay, well for today's safety tip, once you've got this thing going and you've got all the aluminium out, don't try and stick your hand in to pull out what's left over, you might burn your little fingers. As you can see, the side of the drum that the flame's impinging on is just a little bit warm. Again, I'm about eight feet back and the heat radiating out from that thing is just ridiculous. It'll certainly keep you warm and I wouldn't suggest doing this indoors unless you've got a really big shed because you're going to be sweating like a pig in no time. I reckon I might have finally come close to melting the enamel off Granny's piss pot. That's still smoking and it's been sitting there a good 10 minutes. Well viewers, I think that's about as much heat as I can take today. I reckon I've lost a good 10 pounds doing this one. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If that's the case, please don't forget to like, share it round, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Yep, she's warm all right. Great. Now, how the hell am I going to get all that aluminium out of Granny's piss pot? I'll have to turn the thing upside down and do this all over again. Bugger.